think that's part firm ASAP, but it's good fun. I want first to finish one goal. I just think it's not fair. fair. Sebastian Vettel, a driver that in 2015 was set to join Scuderia Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel won four straight titles from 2010 until 2013 with Red Bull Racing, and with Ferrari and Sebastian both having below average seasons in 2014, this was a partnership that was seen as a fresh start, leaving the results of 2014 behind, and fully focusing on 2015 and beyond. Seb in red was a massive deal at the time, and it had all Ferrari fans across the world hoping that a world championship was just a matter of time. 2015 was a good year for Sebastian, with all things considered, such as Mercedes still clearly being the strongest team on the grid, Sebastian Vettel managed three wins, his first with Ferrari, coming at the second race in Malaysia. Overall, it was a good first year for Sebastian, with 13 podiums by the end of the season. There was a drop-off in 2016, with Ferrari failing to win a race. 2017 and 2018 were Sebastian Vettel's biggest chance at a title with Ferrari, and arguably, driver error could be the main factor in both years as to why this championship dream never materialised. Meanwhile, in 2018, a young driver by the name of Charles Leclerc was making his name in Formula 1 driving for Alfa Romeo. Charles Leclerc had impressed everyone after his journey in the feeder series, and many saw him as a future Ferrari driver. Now, without spending too much time diving into the careers of these drivers, it's time we talk about the 2019 and 2020 seasons. This is where the shift began, and some tense moments would take place on track between Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel. Ferrari announced that Charles Leclerc would replace Kimi Raikkonen in 2019. I always saw the 2019 season as Charles Leclerc's big year, his first for Ferrari, and his results really speak for themselves. Seven pole positions, one of them in his second race at Bahrain, and also, who could forget, his two wins, and one of them being at the Temple of Speed, the home of the Tifosi, Monza. The race in Monza for me as a Ferrari fan was a huge moment, and for me, again, it's probably the biggest win Ferrari have had in the last five years or more. Charles managed to do what Sebastian Vettel had not achieved. In fact, it hadn't happened since Fernando Alonso back in 2010. The sight of the marshals celebrating the win as well as the Ferrari fans going insane all across the globe was truly breathtaking. There would be some defining moments that season though. There was the Singapore undercut, which Charles didn't really appreciate. And who could forget Brazil? The collision which took both drivers out of the race and revealed the cracks which were starting to appear at Ferrari, or at least become more public. This takes us now to 2020, where it really fell apart. Ferrari in 2020 were difficult to watch. They struggled big time, and from as early as pre-season testing and the comments made by team principal Mattia Binotto, Ferrari fans were in for a very long season. To summarise why Ferrari was so bad, Ferrari were found to be in violation of power unit technical regulations, more specifically the fuel flow sensors. Ferrari was, allegedly, tricking the sensors in order to gain a straight line speed advantage, all thanks to the increased fuel flow. We still don't know the settlement between the FIA and Ferrari, after the outcome of the investigation remains between the two sides, but what we do know is that something dodgy was definitely going on. Aside from a few decent results for Ferrari, the team really had an awful year, but this isn't exactly a season review, because something was lingering, hanging around, asking questions. Why was Sebastian Vettel so bad? Worse than expected, given the car was horrible, it was still surprising to see a driver such as Sebastian performing so badly. Many felt Seb was being ignored, left behind, and maybe even unfairly treated by the team. Something definitely felt off, and questions were starting to be asked, even by Sebastian Vettel himself. With all that, let's get in to the conspiracy. The first theory is that Ferrari gave Sebastian Vettel a different car to his teammate Charles Leclerc, 
this idea of a conspiracy was not just fan-made, but made public by Sebastian Vettel himself, saying, It's obvious that the other car is much faster. Where do I lose time? I have been biting my tongue all year long. At some point, you should be lucky and hit the limit. I never hit it, and if I do, then only with a lot of difficulty. On the other side, it looks much easier. This was quite interesting. Many fans asked the question throughout the season, were Ferrari purposely hindering Sebastian's season? Was the mistreatment of their former star driver intentional? Then, to hear the driver himself bring it up, it further fueled speculation. You may be asking, for what reason? Why would Ferrari do this? Is it really necessary? Some have theorised that Ferrari did this intentionally in order to speed up his decline and justify making Charles Leclerc the clear number one driver at the team. And maybe, being the season where Sebastian Vettel moves on from Scuderia Ferrari. In my opinion, it was quite clear that Ferrari wanted Charles Leclerc to be the main man at the team, the number one. The driver they could continue to build around and knuckle down on race wins with the pursuit of a Formula One championship. After Ferrari signed Charles Leclerc on a long-term contract until 2024, it was all said and done. As a Ferrari fan, at least, I think teams don't sign drivers on multi-year deals if they don't want to get serious with them. For me, I did feel like Ferrari had turned their backs on Sebastian. Now, I'm not going to say that I believe in a conspiracy taking place, but there was no doubt tension between Sebastian and the team had become obvious. Whether it was the exchanges on team radio, or the clear unrest and almost disinterest by Sebastian throughout the year, I think something was going on, and Seb wasn't very happy about it. Even if it was a bad year for Sebastian Vettel, this doesn't mean it went without a huge W. With Sebastian Vettel signing for Aston Martin for the 2021 season, this announcement came on the eve of Ferrari's 1000th Grand Prix. Sebastian claims it was announced after Sergio Perez told the world that he would depart the team. But if you ask Christian Horner, he believes Sebastian did it because he was pissed off. Was this a small act of revenge for Sebastian Vettel? Was it his way of payback? Ferrari have always denied any conspiracy taking place, and it's also important to note that Sebastian Vettel backtracked on his initial idea of the cars being different and not being able to trust the team. Nevertheless, there was a point in that season where Sebastian Vettel questioned his machinery, team, and trust. It had a hell of a lot of Formula 1 fans talking, and made everyone ask the question, is Sebastian Vettel being sabotaged by his own team? But anyway, Sebastian Vettel would depart the team at the end of the 2020 season and join Aston Martin. Ferrari would sign Carlos Sainz, their youngest partnership in 50 years, with the 2020 season going down as one of Ferrari's most embarrassing and challenging. The possibility of Sebastian Vettel being sabotaged by his own team remains a conspiracy theory. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.